Hello, everybody. Um, it's Thursday. I have a new little painting done. I'm doing, I finished the mini ones. Uh, I'm going to buy markers to color him. And I used oil pastels on him. Uh, he had a purple mold, and he still does. I just left it. Uh, this is uh, for this week's finds. I did find an entire bag of, um, and a friend, a very dear friend, helped me carry it home. Uh, it's all men's clothing. It's all men's shirts. Um, I'm also super stoked that my hair is long enough to put into a ponytail now. <laughs> I'm really happy. Um, no glasses. Sometimes I don't wear them first thing in the morning. So I just wanted to show you the rest of this week's finds. Um, nice leather uh, loafers. They don't fit, they're about a size too small, but super beautiful. Um, this is from the men's bag. This is one thing I think I'm going to keep. I think everything I'm going to show you now is stuff I'm going to keep. But yeah, the men's bag is just boring shirts. This is also from the men's bag. This is really cool. It's a palm tree print. Nice t-shirt. I have to wash the stuff. I found this sweater. Um, it's from Simon's. This was not in the bag of men's stuff. It's a cardigan, but I picked it up because I had an angel. Somebody told me a long time ago that that's, it's gonna make me sound so like hippy dippy and please understand that I do shave my armpit hair but if you want something to ask the angels you also have to offer something in return so it's an exchange shorts these are really nice fun going camping this weekend I might actually wear them these are clean they're from another uh, find uh, this is from the same bag Sleep shorts, size small. Anco is the brand. So this is the other thing that happens sometimes too, is sometimes I will just find one item and I don't make a video. I just wait and gather a bunch of items and then make a video all at the same time. These were a single find. The sweater with the angel pin was a single find. Um, the shorts was not. And this was a single find. This is a Levi's corduroy. I guess you could use it as a shacket. But yeah, I didn't know that Levi's made clothing. There's li oh, there's a little something on there I didn't get off. Okay, cool. I'm glad I showed you. I'm glad I zoomed in. <laughs> and then there's this. This is super cool. I don't know if I've shown this to you before, but I was riding on my bike one day and I found this sort of all wrapped around something and I got off, stuffed it in my bike basket, I brought it home and I washed it. So yeah, that's about it for lane finds for now. Getting ready to go camping this weekend. It's just before Thanksgiving. The weather's going to be great. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. I'm gonna go find my glasses and put them on. <laughs> Welcome to the holiday version of lane finds. It is Thanksgiving Sunday uh raining like crazy and so i thought i would share uh this week's lane finds with you i don't have heat because i was actually away camping and it was lovely i did catch a head cold so i might sound a little different but let's get on with it so i found these really nice uh dark dyed denim that are a little bit like worn in the leg and they're ripped to smithereens in the pocket, but I think I might visibly mend them. Yep. I found this cute little uh, Under Armour hoodie for a little person. I will definitely donate it. Eddie Bauer um, flannel shirt with a mix of flannels. It's really cute, it's extra small. Too small for me, if it was a small, it would fit perfect. Abercrombie & Fitch winter coat. Perfect for this time of year because they're always looking for winter coats this time of year. Uh, this Gap skirt, it's a size 20. It'll probably make somebody very happy. It's very nice, it's uh, silk. Uh, this fun party dress. <laughs> 
it's really short in the back, but um, somebody also like cut the back off. I don't know. And there's a key ring to hold the straps together. <laughs> it's fun. And this is kind of like this retro 70s like suede and wool um, jacket. I found this hanging in a tree. <laughs> so I pulled it out of the tree and I'm going to donate it. Uh, something else I found recently, and this is a, something I paid for, but I'm going to do some coloring. I've been looking for markers and I found these Crayola markers for three bucks at uh, Shoppers Drug Mart. There's a pack of 10 and they're made with solar power. I don't know what that means, but uh, that's pretty stoked. So yeah, I'm going to use them on this guy. So stay tuned for the result. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I hope you're well, and I hope your bellies are full of joy and pumpkin pie. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's been a minute. I have a Lane Fine video to do. <clears throat> I just have everything sort of strewn on my rocking chair. Uh, and my rocking chair might fall backwards, so it's really heavy. <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't. Um, before I do this, I wanted to do a little PSA because the lanes have been very, very dry lately. I just, I mean, I walk in them all the time. Sometimes I, I average eight to 10,000 steps a day. That's just me because I walk everywhere. Sometimes I take public transit. Sometimes I take an Evo. It's not often. So lately there's been nothing. And I chalk that up to what the city's been doing. We, the city elected a mayor that doesn't believe in um, public service, I guess. He said there was going to be 100 new nurses hired. We're still waiting. Um, he's implemented what is called the sweeps. So in the downtown east side, people live on the street. That's what happens. That's what they do. That's their home. Even if they might have access to an SRO, they still might elect to live on the street. And that's, I feel that's their choice. If that's where they want to be, that's where they want to be. The mayor does not want them there. So if these people are living on the street and they get up and leave to go, I don't know, buy something at the store or anything, what is happening is the cops are coming and taking all of their stuff. So they're sweeping everything away. So somehow the mayor thinks that this is going to stop the homeless problem. I'm not here to advocate for what he's doing. I'm just letting you know that the lanes are bare because when the people come back and all of their stuff is gone, they have to scavenge for new, new stuff. And there's been nothing to be found. So what I have found are a lot of individual items and I've been gathering them up just to do one video like today. And I also found a whole bunch of stuff yesterday in the pouring rain. Um, I had my regular doctor's appointment on Monday morning. I see her for pain relief. Uh, she does what's called TPI, it's trigger point injection. And I have some chronic things happening. So I see her every Monday. She keeps me tuned up and pain free, which is amazing. And on my way home, I found a big pile of clothes that were soaking wet. So I piled them into my bag and brought them home, dried them out, and they'll be part of this video. So if you do have anything that's extra right now, I would highly recommend donating it. Um, I can't imagine what it would be like if I went for groceries and came back and I had nothing left. And then I get everything back and I go for groceries again and then I have nothing left. So this is what's happening. So they're, they're trying to solve the problem this way rather than addressing it as a real humanitarian issue and giving people the time and the resources that they need. I understand that this is a loaded topic. These are my opinions. You can have yours and I will respect them. That's no problem. I'm just giving the backstory to lanes. And if you do have extra stuff right now to donate, donate it. On to the lane finds. So uh, I actually washed uh, a lot of the ones that I did find, but from the pile of things that were in the lane yesterday that were soaking wet, we have a cashmere sweater. 
it's fairly holy, but uh, uh, I kind of like it. It's got a lot of holes in it. It's hung up because it's still a little bit wet, but it's also clean. So um, maybe keep two or three of these things, but most of them I am going to donate because of my recommendation. These are cute little funky pants. Um, shorts, which we don't really need anymore because it's gotten really cold out, but whoever this person was, uh, did a huge purge and they have a lot of name brands because these are a lot of J. Crew. Uh, this is all from the pile of, uh, things that I found on the bin in the rain. Um, another merino top that's kind of holy, but I kind of like it. I might keep that. Um, again, from the pile of wet stuff, this was also in the pile of wet stuff, super cute blazer. Uh, I'm shooting a big event tomorrow and I might actually wear this blazer. Let's look at the, uh, I'm going to show you this part. I love it when you cuff a blazer and there's a detail like that. It's one of my favorite things. This is theory. It's wool. It's really, really nice. On to individual things that I found. I actually found these two things together. So this is a Forever 21 dress. I kind of love it. <clears throat> and the season has passed. Uh, yep, it has pockets, they're hanging out. I have washed this because it was not very pleasant when I found it and I found it with this shirt. It's super wrinkly, the shirt. I'm gonna give it a steam, but it's really super soft cotton. Um, I found this sweatshirt. Again, I've also washed it. It's Obey. I love his stuff. Yeah, so this I'm keeping. So like I say, I'll keep a handful of things. I thrifted this Gap silk shirt for $2 at our community thrift. I go down there quite often. At the very back, uh, they have a bin that is like a two or five dollar bin or a 50 percent off bin and i always go through it and i found that blouse so i really loved it um something i wanted to show you a while back i showed you um i had found a whole huge pile of clothes that was all mostly old navy and this is from that um pile and it had like a little sort of bleach fade on the front so i just bought some bleach put it in a spray container and i bleached the shit out of it it's like a little, I don't know, little dress. I kind of like it. I like how the bleaching turned out. It looks like birds. Um, this is from that uh, bag that I found of all men's shirts. I kept this and I kept it because I made this and I'm layering it. So this is a TNA sweatshirt that I found a while back, it just was one piece that I found in the lane. It was actually all mucky and kind of just in a puddle. I picked it up. It's Aritzia. It's really nice cotton. So I just, because it is so cropped, I'm not down for cropped stuff. I uh, sewed a denim leg onto it. And now wear it together with that. A pair of jeans, super cute. So yeah. That's it for now. It's my PSA. So find out some more information about the sweeps, get your own opinion. He's also destroying a lot of the graffiti that's in town, which really kind of upsets me. Um, he's painting the city, we call it grayish. So it's a gray mixed with a beige. It's really ugly. Um, if you guys know who Smokey D is, he's like the underworld reporter for the downtown east side. He does graffiti, but the graffiti are like public messages for people that don't have a smartphone or don't have access to like the internet. He puts up PSAs with characters that are really significant. He pays homage to people who are um, indigenous, uh, women who have been gone missing, uh, anything that's happening. If there's a really bad drug supply pa ha being passed around, if the cops are on a particular rage, he'll find a way to make uh, a graffiti scene out of it. He's been doing it for over 20 years. They made a documentary about it. 
If you look up Smokey D on Facebook, you can find out information about it. I think there's another screening coming up in November. I'd highly recommend it. The mayor is grazing out um, a lot of his work, which is really shitty. All of this to say that this is a very long video and will probably be a standalone all on itself. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I know the world has gone to shit. That's been another reason why I have delayed making a video. I don't know what to say. I can't imagine the terror that these people are experiencing. I also can't imagine what it's like to be a specific um, religion or have a specific belief system and be killed for that. None of us can, we're all here um, and we're in Canada. We're watching this video. I understand that we have our own problems. I am doing my best to educate myself continuously about the uh, schools that the Indigenous people were made to attend and also about Black Lives Matter. I read quite a bit and I, I'm i still in awe that uh, these things happened, but I'm also, um, I don't know what to say about what's happening. Israel, Palestine, Gaza, I have no opinion. I feel like I have a lot of privilege. You won't find any of it in my feed. What you will find in my feed is promoting people. If they do feel like they need to talk to somebody, I will provide numbers or access to things that I feel like are going to help. I am not sharing opinions. I don't know what to say. I also had a really killer uh, cold last week. So there's been a lot going on and I know there's a lot going on for everybody. <laughs> and I just realized that this video is over 10 minutes long. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now and uh, stay tuned. And if you have anything to donate, find a shelter um, and take it down to the shelter. Avoid taking it to Value Village. Take it to the shelter. Thanks.